Hello, Nanak here. Welcome back to Path of Exile, Atlas of Worlds. Today, we're gonna run a map we haven't run before. And that's gonna be the Sulfur Wastes Tier 13 red map. We are gonna file it in a moment. But first, we're gonna see what it is. If this one becomes unidentified, it will actually retain the modifiers it already has. One of the viewers was kind enough to point that out to me. Which... It seems weird, because you would expect if the map becomes unidentified that it rerolls the modifiers so you don't know what's on there, rather than you being able to have a look at the modifiers, then filing it, and if it becomes unidentified, you know what it is. So, this map has increased monster variety. We have a Nemesis and Bloodline mods, and the corresponding increase in Magic and Rare monsters. And monsters are faster in every way, shape, or form. They move, attack, and cast faster. So, let's file it. And it became corrupted. It's still the sulfur wastes. It's now inhabited by goat. So we uh, it rerolled modifiers. So we got the goatman. We ha are in a curse with vulnerability and with enfeeble. So we take more physical damage. And we have a harder time hitting things, we do less damage and we crit less often. Crits don't really matter all that much, but it's gotta be fun. On top of that, we have no life or mana regeneration. <laughs> yeah. Monsters do more damage and they're faster. Oh, and uh, to top it all off, they fire four additional projectiles. This is going to become hilarious. I think I would have preferred to run the other map. This is probably going to be rippy as hell. 40% increased monster pack size. Hallelujah. Okay. Let's see. We can still run our auras, but I am going to disable Herald of Ash in order to have a slightly larger available mana pool. Um, that's it. So the Sulfur Waste's boss is going to be a warband of the Mute Wind faction, which is associated with cold. So that's gonna be fun as well. well. Let's do this. Let's try to do this without dying. But this is gonna be a this is gonna be a challenge. I don't think. Of life blooms in the lava field. In time, it too will wither and die. Always the optimist, that shaper. So it's a level 80 zone. No mana regen means, of course, leaping about is going to be something that I will be a bit more limited in doing. Being a vulnerability cursed. Physical and, oh, and degen also is more annoying. So getting set on fire is going to hurt a bit more. Of that we deal less damage due to enfeeble. Oh, that was a nasty crossfire, and I got out too late. This is starting very well. I was so happy that I was over halfway to the next level. And uh, yeah, I hope I'm not gonna die too often, otherwise, it's gonna be a long way to level 88. But oh, we will be learning. Quite a bit along the way. This is uh, oh. probably the lesson of today is don't stand too long in a single space. Move about when things get dangerous. Also, that golem is gonna distract monsters. It's not gonna help me with the regen in any way, shape, or form because I don't regen. But it will distract things, and that by itself will have a lot of value. Oop. So, multiple projectiles. Then, elemental damage already hurts. So this just makes things worse. I think we will be recasting that golem quite a bit this episode. I'll just uh, jump in. Whenever we leap, we get fortified. Which is 40% of 20% damage reduction, which we get. And we'll need it. We 
need to be highly mobile. Also, we need to hit stuff in order to leech mana. So, there's going to be a lot of interesting trade-offs here. Just uh, drawing them out a little bit is to our favor. If they're clumped up, then the casters can attack me while I'm being occupied by the maneers. Ah, this works well. Okay, go to I summon you once more. Ugh. Stop hurting that much. The goatmen are an interesting foe to face here. And the funny thing is, is that oh, that's a storm thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. That's that's regenerated a little bit of life. Okay, you. Elemental reflecting storm herald. Yes, and then we get away from the storm. Okay, that worked. Just need to keep moving. Always keep moving. Whew, that worked out rather well. And then there were only a couple left. Okay, I'm, I'm getting into a rhythm here. to see if the if this is the only rhythm I'll need to adopt here or if I'm gonna have to change a tunes a couple times so this looks like a kind of big bridge might be a distinguishing terrain feature that leads me to another connected area so see if we can clear this bit as I said I've never played this one before so I'm going in blind a bit with the exception of the little bit I read on the wiki about what the bosses would be just so I could mentally prepare for it. And I'm getting out of there with really low life. A couple times too close for my comfort. But getting into the fray is what we do. We are melee after all. Even though with Lacerate you could be mistaken for thinking that it is something of a, a mid-range attack skill. Rather than a proper melee attack skill of course. The funny thing is, I'm not even boosting my increased area of effect here. As with last right, you can hit quite far if you really, really stack on the AoE effects. Hey. And that was that. Let's see what everybody has been dropping here. Scraps and stuff. Good. good. Hey, let's go up here. Hey, ghost. Yo, go. Annoy someone. Uh, also, out of, out of mana. That doesn't happen. That only happens on the on the no no regen maps. Okay. Yeah, something has been possessed. Don't like it. Yo, give me that. Give me that. Yes, thank you. Okay. Slowly just weeding out these buggers. There's more of you, yes. Hey, Zana! Here to provide a little bit of a, a reprieve from this uh, no regen wasteland. Seems like I was right about my assumption that this would be a bit of a, a closed off area up here. But it might also be of course that the bridge leads to the boss. Um, I think there were some drops that we missed. So let's go back to that before we have a chat with Zana. 
Ah, that was probably nice. It leeches life. Okay, then range we need to just out damage it. And let's show some items again. Okay. Especially now that there's a Zana map into the mix, we're gonna be a bit sparse with picking up items, just some, some chromatic stuff. Ah. Let's see, six link. Yeah, okay, no. A staff for chromatic normally that's okay, but if we're gonna be constrained, we might as well keep things reasonable. Oh. I'll pick up the stuff I just dropped. And just pick up the, the currency here. Resummon summon the golem. Pick up these boots here. And then have a little chat with Zana. Ah, uh, not mana. That cloaked thing. It's out there in the atlas, carefully. Oh, yeah. So There's we need to go forces. after the game. Yes. So what do we do? Slay the crowd the boss. Within the time limit, slaying monsters increases the time limit. In the jungle valley. Okay. Let's have some fun, shall we? Time limit goes. Level 81, so oof, that's one level higher than what we have before. So this is effectively a tier 14 jungle waste. But it's only just inhabited by demons that get into the so It's uh, relatively trivial. Also, we have mana regen. Ta-da! It also means I can probably just put on my Herald of Ash just to increase the damage output a little bit. Uh, it would. Okay, I don't appreciate the game going black. Okay, and we're back. Ah, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, you were trying out the 64 bit client. I guess. <laughs> I've never had that happen before to me, ever. So I'm glad it resolved itself. That would have been very interesting to actually complete the map using that. Hey, we got a shrine here. So all we have to do is slaying the corrupted boss. Well, we are just gonna do most of the mission then. Jungle Valley, of course, has a spider as a boss, but normally it's a tier 1 map. Now it's a tier 14. There's a well, we could say that it has been uh, been shaped a little bit. There's a lot of mobs to kill, which is good. Gives us more time for the boss fight. Uh, okay. <laughs> I really hope that that black screen blinking is not gonna repeat itself too often. It's the first time I've, I've seen it and I have already recorded a couple of episodes with uh, with the new client. It's definitely odd behavior. Okay, we're nearing five minutes on the on the timer which is good. Do goodbye. Still more than 50 mobs remaining. So Zana maps are a bit old in terms of what maps they can drop. And they don't really have a lot of restrictions to them. So this being a tier 14 map be interesting what it drops if it actually ends up dropping anything of course could be that it doesn't drop a single map or other useful item but we shall see Hello. Bye -bye. i really really like the, the corpse explosion effect we get from gratuitous violence really means that dealing with packs Often even easier than dealing with single individuals. Uh, for now we'll take the gavel, but I've got a suspicion it's gonna get replaced with something real soon. Uh, 41 mobs remaining, so that's gonna be the final couple of packs here. Also we need our golem. 
Well, I don't need it, but it's useful. And, all right, there. All right, might as well just put a portal here in case something goes weird. At least we're close. And then, boss o'clock. Here, spider, spider, spider. Come out, come out. Let's uh, do some defensive stuff here. Hello, mommy spider. Queen of the great tangle. So, flasking up. And tune through her life. Okay. Last tip of Atsuri's promise that we could take here. We got is the defensive flasks. Okay, let's just jump on top of your face. Once again, the downside of Multi Strike is, of course, that it's pretty really difficult to deal with. A single target if you're also being surrounded by little add-ons because you're continuously switching targets uh, we didn't get anything useful from this which is too bad but it's okay oh. before we go in let's go to the jungle valley i disabled herald of ash we're gonna regenerate a little bit of mana yes we used all the advantages we can get and then we're gonna drop out again and speak with sana but good Back in the land of the map that requires us to be rather on our toes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh that's just a whole bunch of orbs of storms which are not going to be good to stand in for too much. Hello, goodbye. And we've at least rounded out some of the map. There's a little bit in the center here that we haven't explored yet. There's bound to be a bunch of goats down here. Uh, exactly. This is Goat City. A bunch of goat spark mages. So I'm getting the hang of it. Jump, attack, and then just jump again before the goats can launch a proper counter-offensive. Oh, Volcano. That's a new one. That might be the tier 14 we're looking for. Whoa. I think I got too much garbage in my bag. Uh, oh, that's uh, six rockets. Okay, that one is now the largest out with you. So, indeed, this is the tier 14. Good to have that one uh, safe guarded. And take you out. Still more than 50 mobs remaining. Goats, that is relatively easy to do because there's just goats everywhere. I got a suspicion on the other side of the bridge there might be a bunch of goats as well. Hello, goodbye. So, let's get our golem back. Oh. We still haven't cleared the center of the map in its entirety. So it might be that the bridge indeed just leads to the boss lair and then that's gonna be it. Immortality Goat. Let's flask this up a little bit to just tank it and deal a lot of damage. Still more than 50 mobs remaining. Now, I do believe we have dealt with most of the areas here. Okay. Take a little sip of tea. And then... Let's cross this bridge that we just got to. Okay, let's put up a portal there. In no, as a contingency. Ooh. Goats, goats everywhere. Goats as far as the eye can see. Well, slowly working on that problem. Uh, 
it's a combination of those fireballs, spark mages and melee goats. Just a lot of damage coming our way. Oi, get off of me. I want to get that volcano map. I have to say, this uh, set of mods is interesting. But so is the loot. And we're down to seven remaining mobs. Which implies we are very, very, very close to the actual boss encounter. Okay. Mute Wind, Cold Based, Warband. There's going to be a lot of synergy between the enemies in the pack. I now find myself wishing I paid a little bit more attention to the actual Warbands League, but Warbands was one of the last ones where. There was a different hardcore and a softcore league and I played the other one. So here goes. Ah. Okay. Let's see if we can indeed just isolate them. Upside of multiple slightly weaker foes would be that it's easier to take down individual foes. Downside seems to be. Ow! Ow! <laughs> uh, that's the downside. If you don't have any regen, then hopping away is not really gonna help me because it's not gonna provide me with any way to regenerate my life or my mana. So that's a, a reflex that it works really well when you're not in a no regen map, but in a no regen map, that is it's not a good habit to fall back on. Upside is of course, we can empty our pockets. So far it's been a really good map in terms of uh, drops. A little bit of a dry throat here, which is definitely not a useful. Okay, one, two, three, four attempts remain. Let's do this. Well, while we're here, I might as well pick up a couple of items and then we go in. Oh, a couple of them were already worn down a bit, so we can fall back on that. So being chilled by these buggers definitely makes it more difficult to get away because you're just slower to respond to things. And of course we are stuck with the uh, multi-strike problem of making it really difficult to focus on single targets. But it's more difficult to just eliminate uh, single threats. Oh! Um, Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, forget this, get out there. Well, positioning is gonna be what we need to do here. Oh, uh, blah, 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 sage, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I just pick up that one. Just in case. Okay, I think we got you away from all your buddies. Can we thank you? Nah, you hurt. So that's a rather nasty ice crash. Oh, yeah. That timed that one rather well. Yeah, outer. Let's... Okay, so you got a leap slam, you got your frost wall. Um, and you obviously don't have a regeneration issues. Let's see, have a golem. Ah. 
I need to attack you to get my mana back. <laughs> Oop. Oop. Yeah. So mobility definitely is gonna be important here. Oh, and just ow. So, not afraid of the leap slam that you're doing. Well, okay, I had to open my mouth. I had to say it, didn't I? That always happens. When did I ever, ever learn? <laughs> Ow. Okay, here's the totem. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Hindsight, I should have jumped out. I've been doing rather well so far. But this is outside of my... Comfort zone. Oh, hey, another Ad Series Miller. Oh, uh, let's see. Or a one, or a two. Golem. Final encounter with that guy. Yes, you. Calling you with that guy. Oh, we have some, uh, blah, some flask support here. No, that's not a reason for me to commit suicide by stupidity. Suicide items as well. Situational awareness. Okay, he's chilled. Jumping up and down in place is gonna get me fortify. Uh, but maybe I just shouldn't get hit by that ice crash. Okay. The totem is giving me more damage, which helps. Okay, he's really good at smashing golems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So his primary combo is just avoidable. He, he's, you know, he has a pattern. He's, he is predictable in that way. I really should just not get hit there. It's interesting that I managed to freeze him. Wonder. Ow! 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 Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Yes. Okay. Whew. Managed to do it. Hey, I recognize the art of that shield from somewhere. Lionized Remorse. I think I've used this on my Totem Monster. Oh, and of course, triggering Silver Flask is not going to get me any life regen. This, this is just looking at me really, really wrongly. But we did manage to do it. We cleared the sulfur wastes with a interesting set of modifiers. Most of all, Austin less damage, taking more damage. Oh, monsters also have 40% increased area of effect, so that boss just reached further. They did more damage, they hit harder, faster, more projectiles, so that probably affected that um Arctic Breath thing that he was casting as well, so it was just... So all in all, things piled on rather nicely. The only thing that, that I was missing here is monster physical damage reduction, because that would have been just the cherry on top. But this was fun enough. I died a couple times, that is true. That's nope, something I probably got to work on. Most deaths were. So they're kind of avoidable, it would a bit more... Hind uh, bit more knowledge of the map but as i said this is the first time i did it and i think for our first try it was rather well so for now i'm gonna thank you very much for watching and i will see you again next time bye bye